Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is bouncing for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's the Seahawks going up against the Redskins. With that, let's hand things over to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this Week 14 matchup. All right, Larry, we are due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Seattle Seahawks and the Washington Redskins. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Play clock winding down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. First down, Wilson throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Give him three on the play, and it's a second down. Our chance to show you the offense here, Tyler Lockett. Charles, your thoughts? Loved him coming out of Kansas State. The third Lockett that played there after his father and his uncle. An absolute true threat every time he touches the ball to take it to the house. And he motions the wide receiver. On second down, Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So the offense has it first and 10. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now they try the right side here. And he cuts it out. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. 
with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. That'll be taken in the end zone. Try and start this drive in the air. Throwing right, and that's complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. Good use of the pass there to pick up the first down against a defensive look that they had specifically prepared for, they told us, coming into this one. Certainly seems like they're holding all the right cards now, doesn't it? Because of their preparation. Went back, watched the tape, studied the tendencies, and they feel like they had them down cold, and they were able to use the pass against them. Down inside the 35 to the 34. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Come on, let's go! White Nandy! White Nandy! Slot man moves right. up third well, the defensive line controls the offensive front the way we just saw there it doesn't allow any of the offensive linemen to leak downfield and get to the linebackers and block them on the second left. he rifles one that's intercepted a great read and it's picked off and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line the seahawks offense now they get ready to head back onto the field and they will simply charles be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six and they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now Wilson, he's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And here's the Redskin defense. Michael Brockers was a first-round pick coming out of college, has done nothing but enhance that status. A tremendous player inside. They'll run it now out of the gun. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. Looking left side, he's got it complete. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. 
We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays, but when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying, and on that play, the prayer was answered. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. And the play clock's running down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Whenever I go to a team's practice facility and watch them work, I love to watch the defensive guys in what they call pursuit drills. The ball goes either towards them or away from them. How fast will they respond? On this play, the defensive end responded better than anyone and made a really nice play. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. Second down, here's Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. 13 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now, the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They come up in an offset eye. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Play clock winding down. Play clock down to two and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And left. Time running out here on the play clock. They snap it at one. Now Wilson firing quickly here, and that's complete. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Again, Wilson. His pass caught at the four. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. And the play clock's running down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? They come up in an offset eye. Now receiver in motion left. On third and one, Wilson. A bullet throw, but incomplete. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. On is Hauschka now for the Seahawk field goal. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the lead moves to 10 zip. So they get three. They were hoping for six. An unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board. Happy, but you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high-fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence Here going. Go. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part and forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> with the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. He'll look to throw. Josh Dachson's got it complete. 18 yards the game for number 18. And now we're circling here around the two-minute warning. This is a setup play. Trying to get one last one in before the clock warning. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. Second down and four. Come on, let's go! 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. And they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. And they're going to speed things up here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Smart approach there, using the run to pick up the first. That was a defensive setup they prepared for this week, knowing that keeping it on the ground was the best way to attack it. And that means also that they're able to read them pretty well. All the things they prepared for when they get to the line of scrimmage, they see it in pre-snap recognition and know exactly how to attack based on their planning and preparation. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. In motion, the tight end, Reed. On third down, he'll drop to throw. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. And last time, they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. After the interception, here's Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Give him 13 on the pickup there. And the Seahawks are going to have a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. <laughs> Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he's brought down. They'll get 19 yards there. And it'll give the Seahawks a first down. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Second and ten now, Wilson. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a and he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Tyler Locke 
Lincoln in the final seconds of the first half. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Hauschka now for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. Black Black but we do know there's some risk takers out Black there that may want to take one Black more Black shot Black before the clock runs out. Throw now on the final play. Finding time. Going up top. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front. As we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. And we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just, they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Here we go! He'll look to throw. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. And that right there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read and it's picked off. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Play clock winding down. Now Wilson on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Their dangerous wide receiver with touchdown number seven on the year. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. And he knocks it through. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Let's go, Ohio! 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 Here we go! They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Here we go! Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. They're going to try and throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great read, and it's picked off. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll see, I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it 8 yards. And it's second and 2. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock. He and he is in for the Seattle touchdown a great play there his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year and the interception by the Seahawks D leads to a touchdown and he puts it through the kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field and we are ready to rock this is fielded at the goal line and he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. They want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. And it'll be first down, Washington. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Looking to throw. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? They, let's, go. see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. A handoff as they run the counter play. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. They come up in an offset eye. Back to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kevin Pierre Lewis. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. So he makes the grab, and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback as he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. So we've got encroachment, and that's a free five yards. Too easy for the offense. A bit of impatience by the defense on that one. And some room to work. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We can talk about bend, but don't break all we want. But the defense now, we're going to find out just how flexible and pliable they really are. Can they bounce back after that type of a run, that type of momentum against them, and find a way to slow down this offense? And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. now at FedEx Field and this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter a very one-sided affair offense looking to avoid a third and long it's second and ten And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of two, now third down. And now they're in the hurry up. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Brandon Graham in there to get it. And that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Dustin Hopkins now for the Redskins field goal. And Hopkins. 
Hopkins' kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg. And they're at least trying to finish out strong. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Going to give this time to the tailback. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now a handoff here to his running back. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. To throw is Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And Reed with it over the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. four-yard line it's first and goal now They're able to get a couple here but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one well he did get a taste the previous week he got into the end zone trying his best to get there in this game so far he's been denied here we go Watch. and they'll run it here and he is going to lose yardage here he lost two there and it's third down from back at the three now, this is third and goal. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down. But I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And he puts this one through. It makes our score 31-10. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they'll go on the ground. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. A big play there. His third touchdown of the game. Tenth on the year. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Graham in there to drop him, and his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. He'll look to throw. Rolling to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. And now here is another interception. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. And on the ground they go with the running back. And some space here. And a cut to the sideline. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. So out now come the Redskins. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that. And coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. They'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, to say that this has not been his game, is probably a big understatement. I mean, he is all over the place. Mechanics are off, not accurate, except if you're playing on defense because they picked off a good number of passes. Yeah, all the INTs, but they're throwing it off his back for pressure coming, just chucking it downfield. He can't do that right now. No, you can't do that at all. And I think one of the hardest things for a guy having a day like this one 
is to find a way to just kind of get out of it, kind of get yourself back to neutral. Because what you try and do is make even more spectacular plays to make up for it, and it usually leads to more bad ones. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Well, it all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Back to throw here. And my goodness, another interception. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches... Be honest. <laughs> Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly. He's got a man complete. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. That's a whole lot of points still to be down. But congratulations. They're still fighting, and they scored another touchdown. My old high school coach used to say, Charles, he said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you wish you never had showed up. <laughs> Could have saved the gas money, the hotel, <laughs> what have you, huh? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Seahawks offense now. They get ready to come back onto the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And Charles, just a blowout in every sense of the word here in this one. Okay, cliche alert. Right from the opening whistle. As soon as they kicked the ball off, one team was ready to play. The other definitely was not. Well, you got to use cliches with this one. I mean, it's not often you see a game this lopsided in the NFL. All we know is that at the end, one team was winning going away, and the other one just wanted to go away. So for the Seahawks, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, it's a rare misstep as they'll drop to 11-2 on the year. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Landover.